Oh, they definitely pulled it off, Byron and Lanise. Uh, very emotional for 19-year-old Keaton Krebs and his family. He's now living cancer-free, and this really is a story that has come full circle for us. You'll remember we met Keaton back in November 2017. He had just finished chemo after being diagnosed with leukemia earlier that year in February. His main goal at that time, he told us, was to get his strength back up to return to the baseball field. I'd like for you to give a warm rubber seal welcome to number 25, Keaton Krebs. <laughs> And we were there when number 25 fulfilled that dream, Robertsdale High School, rolling out the gold carpet for him as he joined his fellow teammates back on the diamond. And this past September, Keaton among those ringing the bell at USA Children's and Women's Hospital, marking the end of cancer treatment. Tonight, just another part of his journey of recovery. I want you all to give Keaton and his family a wish because you just granted his wish to Germany. And this really is a first class organization. They know a thing or two about pulling off surprises, uh, granting Keaton and his entire family a trip overseas to Germany. Again, all this made possible by Make-A-Wish and the Alabama Independent Auto Dealers Association Ladies Auxiliary. Were you surprised? Uh, I was very surprised. Uh, I just thank the whole association for what they did and to grant my wish. Going to Germany, why Germany? Uh, for our family uh, history and go to the, the Haribo Gummy Bear Factory <laughs> and uh, the, do the BMW driving experience. That's a good one. Yeah, we actually had this plan, uh, trip planned um, when Keaton graduated because we have three boys in three years and this was going to be like their grand bams um, senior trip and then my husband and I's 25th wedding anniversary and then Keaton got sick and it put you know we put it on the back burner and um, so when they offered us a make a wish um, it's been over two years ago and um, so the, we we asked for several you know just they just asked you for several things several ideas and when they heard that was our story and our heritage and, and Keaton's love for gummy bears um, so you know it was it's one of those things when they granted it, it was pretty exciting. You're hoping that they open their hearts and pocketbooks when they hear stories like this because this is what keeps it going. Absolutely, absolutely. And sometimes we just wonder how can we help others and we just don't know how. And so it's an opportunity that everyone's able to donate and to give and to give back to um, and a cause that we're able to go and be a, their hands out in the community. Yeah. And Keaton just finished his first year of college studying to be a pediatric oncology nurse to hopefully one day help families like himself. Reporting live tonight in Orange Beach, Lee Peck, Fox 2 News.